Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel has announced he will not reconsider the Medal of Honor nomination for Marine Corps Sergeant Rafael Peralta. The Marine died in Iraq in 2004, but the effort to award him the nation's highest military honor has drawn conflicting accounts. Here's Jeff Pegues. In 2004, Sergeant Rafael Peralta's squad was clearing a house during the Battle of Fallujah. When insurgents opened fire, the 25-year-old was standing next to Sergeant Nick Jones, who spoke with CBS News in 2010. They were just spraying and praying, trying to hit anything that came through the door, and uh, it just happened to be us standing there. Peralta went down. It turns out he was hit by friendly fire. Then an insurgent tossed a grenade into the room. Before it even came to a stop, I just saw his arm move up and he grabbed it and just scooped it underneath his body. Peralta was killed, and it is that version of events that led to him being awarded the Navy Cross. But an unsuccessful request to reopen a Medal of Honor nomination has unearthed conflicting accounts about what happened. Davy Allen, another Marine who served with Peralta, said he recently decided to tell the truth confirming for CBS News what he told the Washington Post, that the grenade detonated near but not underneath Peralta. It has always bugged me. I knew it's not the truth, but who wants to be the one to tell the family, your son was not a hero? George Sabka is an attorney for Peralta's family. The evidence doesn't show that. Now that's what Davey believes he saw. I can't dispute what he saw or what he believes he saw. But what I can say is that the evidence shows otherwise. The citation for the Navy Cross reads, without hesitation and with complete disregard for his own personal safety, Sergeant Peralta reached out and pulled the grenade to his body, absorbing the brunt of the blast and shielding fellow Marines only feet away. He has been denied the Medal of Honor, but he remains a hero to the man who says he was there when Peralta died. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the enemy and he saved our lives. And the mother who kneels by his grave. Jeff Begay's CBS News, Washington.